I have just gotten the LED tracing tablet and I'm going to open it up. So hopefully you guys can see everything okay. This is a pretty awkward camera angle for me since this is such a big tablet. Okay, so let's see. It comes with some instructions, some specifications. Let me see if I can get this to focus on those for you. Alright, now let's see. So we have a wall plug, standard micro USB cable, and here is the tablet. Let me just set the box aside. So it's got corner protection on it, so that's good. So hopefully it shipped okay. Okay. Ooh, it's really thin. I like that. Um, see, my old light box for tracing is actually a regular style light box, and it's, you know, so thick. So here it is. It says life color. It's got power button. Hey, I'm okay. <laughs> I think my Alexa just thought I said something. Um, I'm not sure if you guys heard that. So there is the power port. Um, the back is just plain. This one is the one that has the rulers on it. There is another version that does not. Okay, so I'm going to get out my cord here and plug this in. And it has a little wrap on this to protect it too. Alright, so I'm going to go plug that in. And now I'll just plug it in to the tablet here. Okay, so a little blue light comes on. So now let's see how this works. This is just a touch button. It's not a press button. Just tap it. Okay. Um, I think it's supposed to have several different... Oh, there it goes. Okay. So you just, you just kind of have to... Alright, so there's off. Is low, medium, and high. Okay. Um, on my camera screen, it looks like the light is really uneven, but it's in real life, it's fairly even. It is a little bit brighter on this side than this side over here, but not significantly. Let me see if I can get the camera to see this. So. Um, maybe if I turn it off and lock my exposure, now hopefully it won't just blind the camera. Alright, so you kind of touch it and hold it a little bit. Okay. Alright, so now let's see how it does with the paper on it. So here are its instructions again. Just put that on there. And I will get just a sheet of printer paper and I'm going to put that on top. All right, so let's see if you guys can see this. I'm going to adjust my exposure here again. Get this a little closer to the camera for you. So the camera is having some trouble picking it up, but you can see through it fairly well in real life, enough to read it. You know, so model A4-FK, and then, you know, it's acrylic, organic glass, and so on and so on. Um, yeah, so I can read this perfectly fine. 
with the light on this setting, let me switch it to, so there is low. And medium. And high again. All right, so I'm going to turn this off again so I can get my exposure set once more. All right, so now I'm going to try something else here. Let's see. Okay, let me try unplugging it. I'm curious if it has any sort of internal battery. Um, it is a little bit tight of a plug. Okay, so no, you cannot use it at all without it being plugged in. So this is powering it directly, not powering an internal battery. Let me just see if I can show you the port here. Again, I'm sorry, I'm having trouble seeing my camera screen while I'm doing this. Oh, I got that flipped upside down when I unplugged it. So yeah, this seems pretty nice. It is super thin. And um, let's see if we can draw on it. I've dropped my pencil over here. So I'm just going to put my paper back under here. And I'm going to just trace this box. I'm using a pretty firm pressure. So yeah, I'm really pressing to see how well it handles just being pressed on. I do have the camera like in front of me, so forgive my very poor tracing ability there. So now let's look at this and see if we've left any sort of marks. Okay, I am not seeing any sort of marks on the surface and I did not notice any variation in the light when I... Okay, this button is a little tricky to get used to. So you can press pretty firmly on it and you can see that the light is not affected by the pressure. So that's good. So yeah, this looks like it will work well. And now I have something a little fun for this week that I'm going to do, is I'm going to do a $5 Amazon gift card giveaway. I mean, this is a $5 bill so I can show how it shows through the paper. You'll actually just be getting a gift card code in the contest. So there is how well you can see through a dollar bill or a $5 bill in this case. Let me show you that. So uh, the contest link will be below in the comments. So um, you do need to be subscribed to my channel to enter. And if you are younger than 18, uh, have your parents' permission. But otherwise, yeah, anybody can enter. And so also let me know in the comments um, if you would be using that $5 gift card towards purchasing one of these or something else. Sorry, my bill is so crinkly. So here is, just put the paper back over that. You can see through that. All right, so subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful. And I'll be back again soon with more reviews.